All right, welcome to the next part of analyzing or developing the weapon. What we're going to do now is set targets. So you can see here, we've identified the major weapon or the primary weapon we want to improve on is shooting ability from range 18 to 30 yards with both feet. And so you're going to have two separate segments, right? So we have our agreed actions on the right side, top right. We've wrote down the three agreed targets that we want to work on. This is discussed with a player that we worked with at a one-on-one -on -one meeting. And the second one is striking the ball with power technique or the Lampard technique. This was discussed and agreed upon at the one-on-one -on -one meeting that we did. And then as well, separating from defenders to create angles to shoot. This was discussed with the player at our one-on-one -on -one meetings. And what this allows us to do is when we sat down with our player and we broke this down, we said, okay, here's what we think you do well. Here's where you need to work on. Okay, and those are the three targets. We agreed to them. We're going to grade them in six weeks to see if they improve. So you can see we have three colors on the bottom right, the grading format. We have excellent, improving, and needs improvement. So in six weeks, they're going to get a grade. And then in 12 weeks, they're going to get a grade to see if they're really mastering these elements that we want them to improve on. Because remember, the ultimate goal is developing this player. So if we're talking about you, you need to be developing a specific asset to your game. What are you the best at? Just because you're really good at something doesn't mean it's perfect. And in fact, there's no such thing as a perfect player. So you need to work on those. So from those targets that we agreed on, we put them together and here they are. Now on the bottom one where there's the two categories, these are agreed targets for the individual. So these are more numerically based. So you can see here, the first target we agreed upon was a number of shots per game. So we said this individual needs to get four shots per game. This was agreed upon at our one-on-one -on -one meeting. And then the second target we wanted them to hit was at least two out of the four on target or the number of shots they take at least two on target. So they're going to have to work on taking stats to try and measure that. Now this can be a little bit harder, but this can be an assignment you give a parent or if you have an individual that takes stats for games, this is how you can get that done. And then again, they're going to get a grade at six weeks or 12 weeks. Okay. Now if you can't make the bottom one work, it's okay. It's just an idea for you to give you qualitative actions. Um, and then or really measurable the one on top is where you're going to see if the player is actually improving from a technical standpoint or a mental or a tactical depending on what you're working on and that way you have it all there for you and you're able to make those things improve because you'll be able to see if their choice of technique is improving you'll be able to see if they're able to strike the ball with the power technique you'll be able to see if they're able to separate from the defender well or better right and those are things you'll easily be able to measure i think in time and we've been able to do that with our with our process. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense to you. All you need to do is transfer those over, make sure they're agreed upon, and then in six weeks you're going to get a grade. Okay, and then after 12 weeks you get another one. Okay, that's pretty much it for this one, guys. See you in the next video.